Die by Andrea Gibson. I often repeat myself, and the second time's a lie. I love you. I love you. See what I mean? I don't. But I do. And I'm not talking about the girl I might be kissing on. I'm talking about this world that I'm blissing on and hating at the same time. See, life doesn't rhyme. It's bullets and wind chimes. It's lynchings and birthday parties. It's the rope that ties the noose and the rope that hangs the backyard swing. It's the boy about to take his own life and with a knife to his wrist, he's thinking of only two things, his father's fist and his mother's kiss. And he can't stop crying. It's me wanting tonight to speak the most honest poem I've ever spoken in my life, not knowing whether it should bring you closer to living or dying, to drowning or flying. Last night, I prayed myself to sleep, then woke this morning to find God's obituary scrolled in tears on my sheets. Then I walked outside to hear my neighbor erasing 10,000 years of hard labor with the single note of his violin. And the sound of traffic rang like a hymn as the holiest leaf of autumn fell from a plastic tree limb. Beautiful and ugly. Like right now, I'm needing nothing more than for you to hug me. But if you do, I'm going to scream like a caged bird. Life doesn't rhyme. Sometimes love is a vulgar word. Sometimes hate calls itself peace on the nightly news. I've heard saints preaching truths that would have had me burned at the stake. I've heard poets telling lies that made me believe in heaven. And sometimes I imagine Hitler at age seven with a paintbrush in his hand at school thinking, what color should I paint my soul? And sometimes I remember myself with track marks on my tongue from shooting up convictions that would have hung innocent men from trees. Have you ever seen a mother falling to her knees the day her son dies in a war that she's voted for? Can you imagine how many gay teenage lives were saved the day that Matthew Shepard died? And could there have been anything louder than the noise inside his father's head as he stood before the jury and begged them, please don't take the lives of the, son, of the men who turned my son's skull into powder. And I know nothing would make my family prouder than giving up all that I believe in. Still nothing keeps me believing like the sound of my mother breathing. It's tasting your rapist's breath on the neck of a woman who loves you more than anyone has ever loved you before than feeling holy as Jesus in the hands of a one-night stand who's calling somebody else's name. It's me never feeling more greedy than when I'm handing out dollars to the needy. It's my not eating meat for the past seven years than seeing the kindest eyes I've ever seen in my life on the face of a man with a branding iron in his hand and a beat-down baby calf wailing at his feet. It's choking on your beliefs. It's the worst sin saving your fucking life. It's the devil's knife carving holes in your soul so that the angels will have a place to make their way inside. Still, life is poetry, not math. And the whole world is a stage, and the stage is a meditation mat. You tilt your head back. You breathe. And when your heart is broken, you plant seeds in the cracks and pray for rain. You teach your sons and daughters that there are sharks in the water, but the only way to survive is to breathe deep and die. Thank you.